Hello again, it's me, James Haskell. Welcome to JH Bodyfire TV. I'm back with me, old mate Ben Coomber. Uh, now I eat a lot of these when I get into the box. Eggs. Okay. So what we're going to show you today is how to cook the perfect eggs and also how to be creative with your egg recipes. So first, I've got a personal way of how I think the perfect scram set scrambled eggs can be made. I usually promote scrambled eggs because they're quick, right? We can just get them in a the pan, done. So we'll do that, and while I'm waiting for the main bulk of the egg to cook, we'll talk through some ways to spice things up. Okay. So this is personally how I think the perfect egg should be made. So just a little bit of coconut oil is going to go into the pan. Now obviously that's going to have an effect on calories, so adding fat, you know, be wary of that. So what we're going to do, let the coconut oil coat the pan. Look, we're simmering. We're ready. We're cooking with gas. That is hot. We're not cooking with gas. Well, no, okay, but it's fresh. We're ruining it again. Every so time. because we're both big men, yeah. I would go for half a dozen, would you? Would you? Half yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was just a bit shocked by the we're both big men comment, but anyway. We'll let that one slide. Ooh, this, is, this is cooking hot. We're going to drop this down a little bit. I don't want to cook too quickly. No. You don't want to never cook your eggs too quickly. You need to have time to get the consistency right. So we're just dropping all these in You have a problem with a lot of things cooking though, do you? So, eggs are in. Right now, because we haven't got any salt and pepper, yeah. imagine that this is me adding salt and pepper. Always get a good pinch of salt in your eggs. Just a little bit of pepper, otherwise it'll overpower the taste. So we're gonna leave them for a second. So three options to spice up eggs. Okay. Huge fan, pesto. So once the eggs are a bit more cooked, at the point where I put butter into this recipe, just want you to add a spoonful of pesto. Really good flavor. Another good way, teaspoon <coughs> of cinnamon. You yep. wouldn't have thought of cinnamon, would you? I wouldn't have thought cinnamon. I wouldn't have thought cinnamon on my coffee, but not on your eggs. But it's good. Stick it on your eggs, or here's a little Mexican flavour. It takes slightly longer to cook. Chop up a load of spring onions, a tomato, an onion, a chilli, maybe a bit of paprika. Sauté that, and then put that on top of your eggs. So let's turn the heat up on the old eggs. So there's three options. Really easy to cook. The reason why I like the Mexican option as well is because I don't think enough people will eat veg at breakfast. You know, veg, breakfast is usually a meal where people don't get enough veg in. So let's hurry these little puppies on again. Have you tried the cinnamon thing before? No. Are you gonna? Yes. That's my favorite though, the pesto. Well, whatever you want, Ben. Whatever you fancy, if you're the chef. So at this point- It's only my channel, but don't worry, you carry on. Yeah. When the eggs, Jamie Oliver's gonna be out of business. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. literally, he's quaking his boots. Heston. So when the eggs are at this point, they're half cooked, all I want you to do is get a bit of butter. I add butter mainly for flavour. If you're grass concerned fed? about the calories. Grass fed butter? Is this grass fed butter? No, it's not. It is goat's butter though, because I only do goat's dairy personally. Right, why is that? Because I'm intolerant to cow's dairy. Right, weak. As a lot of people are. Weak individual. So, as the eggs it's climax, yeah. Good. As they climax, this is the crucial point. And this point, James is gonna get me a plate or a bowl to serve it on. Right, okay. Here it is, our glamorous assistant has got a bowl. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. So this is the crucial point for eggs making. And you can't let it go too far. So remember, even if you turn the heat off, eggs will keep cooking. So you've got this kind of runniness, and most people will take their eye off the game. They'll be like, oh, this is the point where you need to keep your eye on it. And any second now, I'm gonna take my eggs off the heat as, as it appears that there needs to be a little bit more cooking. And I'm gonna be done in about three, two, one. And there it is. So they're just nice and soft. The butter will still be drifting around the eggs. And that's it. The perfect scrambled eggs and three different options to cook. You're so professional, it blows your mind. Ben, that was awesome. So just gonna recap quickly. We've got cinnamon in there, with the pesto in there, we've got a little bit of a Mexican restaurant. Restaurant? Restaurant. Rest yeah. recipe. Well, recipe, if needs be. But we've gone for some ordinary eggs. Take them off the heat just before you think they're done, and yep. they will be done. And they're nice and soft and fluffy now. If you enjoyed those expert tips, there's plenty more where that came from on JH Qualifier TV. Make sure you don't miss a thing, and to do that, 
pretty simple, just subscribe.